Hey guys, it's Dennis here, and I'm with... What's up, guys? It's your boy, Dorian. And it's Joey. How you doing? And before you watch this video, just want to let you guys know, if you haven't already subscribed to our Collider Games channel, we have that on YouTube. Dorian, uh, what kind of cool stuff do we have on that channel? We got a bunch of video game reviews. We have Twitch stream live play. We, we do a bunch of stuff on that channel, and we have a lot of Spider-Man coverage right now, and we're about to drop some Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider stuff, so make sure to check it out. And we could tell you a bunch more, mm -hmm. but that would get in the way of this amazing video that Caboose has jumped in to help us out with. If you don't know Caboose, you are going to love him after this video. So let's jump right into it and check out the best powers and suitabilities in Spider-Man. What's going on Collider fans? I'm Caboose. You may know me from my two years of coverage for Spider-Man PS4 since its announcement at E3 2016 and I am here on behalf of Collider Games to give you guys a little bit of a guide on what the best suits and suit powers are in Spider-Man PS4. A bit of a spoiler warning here coming ahead. Of course, you're going to be seeing some alternate suits in the game that haven't been officially revealed. If that's something that you want to experience on your own when you get your hands on the game, you can absolutely do so. But be wary, spoilers ahead on some alternate suits that are in the game. So with that said, let's just jump right into this. First things first, what is the best suit in the game? Well, it really just comes down to opinion. That is totally up to you and what your personal preference is as to what you think the best suit in Spider-Man PS4 is. So you make that decision for yourself. It's rumored that apparently the Velocity suit, which is one of the pre-order bonus suits that you can get in the game, it's obviously one of the few originally designed spider suits in the game. It's rumored that this suit has a passive ability that allows you to traverse through the city a lot faster than other suits. And well, I tried to test it out and see if there was a difference. And even if there is one, it's very hard to tell. So as far as I'm concerned, use whatever suit that you want, whatever suit that you think looks the best. That is completely up to you and your personal preference. The only thing to keep in mind is that if there is a certain suit power that you want to unlock, you have to craft the specific suit that's tied to that suit power in order on to unlock the suit power. So you can't just craft a suit power on its own. you got to craft the actual suit itself. So maybe there's a suit out there that you like, doesn't have a good suit power, but there's another suit out there that has a great suit power, but you don't really like the look of it. Well, fret not. You can apply the suit power of the suit you don't like the look of to the suit that you do like the look of. You just have to craft that other suit. So let's get into suit powers and suit abilities and which ones are really good and you know, in all different categories of Spider-Man PS4 in terms of combat, stealth, and all that. So when it comes down to suit powers, I personally found that one of the best in the game was the spider bro, which comes attached to the Stark suit, which you get to the ability to craft it at level nine. So once you reach level nine, you're gonna see that you've unlocked the Stark suit, which is the Spider-Man homecoming suit. And attached to this is the suit power, the spider bro, that launches out a drone that will slaughter enemies. Seriously, you can take down an entire crowd of thugs in seconds and you probably won't even have to lay a finger on them. And like I said, you get this ability very early on in the game. Within like the first two hours of game time, you're going to reach level nine and be able to craft this suit. And it is extremely useful. Like I said, you are probably not going to be switching off this suit. But there are some other suit powers that we will get into that may you might find better use of. So Moving on from that, another suit that you get pretty early on is the Spider Armor Mark II suit. And the suit power that's attached to this will render you immune to any gunfire or any bullet damage that comes in for a short amount of time. This is another suit, like I said, you get this very early on. And if you're someone who maybe masters the craft of combat in Spider-Man PS4, you're probably going to notice that the only real damage you end up taking at that point is from gunfire, is from those snipers that are sitting up on their ledges or those people that, you know, stay back with their machine guns. That's going to inevitably be the only sort of damage that you take when you're in those high intensity combat scenarios. So this suit power is definitely for you if you are that person. If you are someone who has mastered the combat, but you're still noticing, hey, I'm getting shot every now and then. I should probably avoid this by using the Spider Armor Mark II's suit power, which is very, very good for that specific circumstance. But again, for me personally, that Spider Bro, it is legit. Now, there's also some suit powers that have some AOE attacks in the game. Two of them in specific are the Spider Punk suit and the Negative suit. The Spider Punk suit, we've seen in action the ability for it. He pulls out an electric guitar and it creates this awesome AOE effect on all the opponents around you. And the Negative suit has a very similar like effect 
where he'll slam the ground with negative energy and it knocks back a bunch of enemies. But I don't really find these abilities to be extremely useful simply because they don't take down the enemies fully. You know, it'll just knock them down or, you know, temporarily put them out of action, but they'll get right back up and you're going to get crowded again. It is pretty good for kind of dispersing a group of enemies and taking a little breather if you're getting a little overwhelmed. But outside of that, I don't necessarily find these abilities to be ones that you're going to want to keep using. Although that guitar with the Spider-Punk suit power is awesome for photo mode. So I highly recommend it for that specific purpose. Now, if we're talking about a suit power that I personally think is like useless, but is really cool, and I'm sure a ton of you guys are going to be using it, that is the suit power that's attached to the vintage comic book suit, in which all it does is just make Spider-Man dish out quips and funny lines of dialogue. And that's it. That is the entire purpose of the suit power, is that you embrace the witty side of Spider-Man that we know and love from the comic books. Arms are getting tired. Sometimes I wish I had a spider mobile. It's cool and it's fun and it definitely matches the aesthetic of the vintage comic suit. But outside of that, it is useless. It will give you no advantage. When you're in combat scenarios, it'll sort of knock back enemies and kind of stun them. But they don't, don't rely on this to save your life whatsoever. You can use the suit power though outside of combat as well and Spider-Man will say some really funny lines of dialogue as he's swinging through the city. So I would recommend this for that reason if you're just kind of free roaming and having some fun with that and you maybe want to have a suit power where Spidey's just saying a bunch of funny things every now and then. This is the suit power for you and it recharges really fast as well. So I would recommend it for any reason that isn't to actually help you if that makes sense. Now there's also some stealth moments in Spider-Man PS4, whether you're going through the story or whether you're doing certain challenges that are sent to you by Taskmaster. And there are suit abilities that can help you with stealth. Although to be honest, in my personal opinion, stealth in Spider-Man PS4 is fairly easy. It's really not too difficult to go through stealth missions and do them successfully. But if you need that little extra edge, if you need a little bit of extra help, these two suits will help you being the Noir suit and the stealth or the big time suit as we all know it from the comics. Now the noir suit suit ability is the ability that makes it so that enemies cannot call in backup. It's called the sound of silence. So in the case that let's say you get caught by an enemy when you're trying to do some stealth, they can't call in backup, they can't call in any help so you can just take them out pretty quickly. And then the stealth suit or the big time suit as we all know it from the comics, the ability for this one will make it so that you send out a distortion field so that people who haven't spotted you yet will be harder to spot you. Take in mind if you've already been spotted, this suit power will not do anything for you and it will not help you at all. All its purpose is, is for people that haven't spotted you yet in stealth and they will make it will make it so that it's harder for them to see you. And it can be pretty helpful, but like I said, the stealth in Spider-Man PS4 is really not that difficult. So I doubt any people out there are gonna be using these ones too often. Now, there are a ton of decent suits that give you advantage overall in terms of power and combat. There are suits that give you quad damage and suits that knock back enemies on hits. There are plenty of suit abilities in the game that are really going to be helpful. But to be honest, like I said, I keep coming back to that spider bro every single time because in any scenario, it has helped me out. When there's a ton of enemies, I call it out and I get a bit of a breather as well as clearing the room. It is that freaking good. However, that is something that you get really early on in the game. As you progress through the levels and as you get more and more suits, there's a suit that you're going to come across, which I believe is by the name of the Spider Armor Mark IV, which we know in the comics as the all new, all different Spider-Man suit. And the ability that's attached to this one, the suit power, is actually really good. Essentially what it does is it creates a defensive shield around Spidey in which all incoming damage is completely absorbed. So for a short period of time, bullets, punches, whatever it might be, does no damage to you whatsoever. This is a really, really good suit power if you want to keep that high combo going in combat or if you're on a really low amount of health and you want to stay alive but don't want to spend it on healing and you want to help try and take out some of those enemies if there are just a few left. Like I said, this is a really, really good suit power and this is something that I've used a ton as well on top of the Spider Bros. So, I would recommend it. Like I said, it comes with the Spider Armor Mark IV suit, which we know obviously in the comics as the all new, all different Spider-Man suit. So that brings us 
to the end of the video here about the suits and suit powers in Spider-Man PS4 that I would recommend. But now, let me kick it to you guys. What is your favorite suit in Spider-Man PS4? And what do you think is the best suit power in Spider-Man PS4? I want to thank again to Collider Games for having me on here. It's been a blast to talk about this game with you guys. Make sure to check out the channel and subscribe to Collider Games and hit that like button as well for more Spider-Man PS4 and overall gaming content to come. With that said, I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.